When people hear about New York, they always think of Manhattan. But there are hundreds of cities and towns in New York State, and every one of them has their own charm and history, which makes them unique. I'm Vic Christopher, a partner in a hospitality group that is obsessed with creating quality experiences for people in Troy, New York. Come join us for this series where we explore some of the best bars, restaurants, stores, and shops that upstate New York has to offer. This is Upstate Old School. We are here in Utica, New York, the legendary pizza place that's been open for over 100 years. Oskugnitz. I think that's how it's pronounced. I mean, you look at the spelling, it's like Oskugnizo or something, but the common pronunciation, I believe, is Oskugnitz. That may be it. I've heard it's the one and only king of pizza since 1914. Cheese on the bottom, traditional Utica pie. And we're here on Upstate Old School. We're checking out the best of the best of upstate New York. Some places that you may have heard of or maybe that you haven't, but we're here to bring them to you live on Two Buttons Deep. I hope you guys are hungry. I know I'm starving for some great Utica pizza. Follow me. How many pies do you do during the course of a busy day, would you say? Around 100, a couple hundred. And it's a family uh, restaurant for many generations, right? Basically. Third generation. Third generation. Yeah, that's the, that's the original. Wow. 100, 100 years, same recipe for 100 years, three generations. 104. 104, 104 years. years. 104 years, amazing. We're at the second oldest continuously operated pizza in all of the United States of America, Oskugnitz, 104 years old in 2018. What's your earliest memories of this place? When I was a kid. <laughs> I'm leaving today and I had to stop by and get some pizza from Oskugnitz. I don't think it should be called pizza. I think it should be called tomato pie done the right way. There's that uh, pizza. Wow. Wow. No forks, just hands. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Appreciate yes, it. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. 15 minute bake time on these pizzas, and these are considered smalls. So uh, I, don't, I don't really know that you can really eat much more than this. This is probably enough food for a week over here. Cheese on bottom, uh, and then we have Pecorino Romano on the top, mozzarella on the bottom, anchovies, peppers, sausage, and pepperoni uh, with mozzarella and Romano. I guess the main rule is no fork and knife allowed. Somehow you can really taste the history in these ovens that are probably close to 100 years old. I guess this is what's referred to as a tomato pie, which is cheese on the bottom. The difference between this and the tomato pie is the tomato pie you eat cold. This fresh out the oven. So when this gets cold, does then it become tomato pie? I guess. I guess we're just cold pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Great balance. Um, good char, good crust. I would say that this is a 10 out of 10. Unbelievable trip. Oskanit's Pizza definitely exceeded all of our expectations. We're here on a snowy day in April in Utica, New York. For Two Buttons Deep, this is Vic Christopher.